like that. Um, I'm excited about this being our first win over a ranked opponent. I'm excited about this being a win on uh, this senior day for, for these guys. Um, I'm excited that we emphasized boxing out and we're really disappointed in what we did against UCLA and turned around and, and, and changed it against a really good offensive rebounding team. And uh, yeah, I'm just really excited right now. 17. So, uh, Sean, before we get to the game, can you tell us what the officials told you at the end of regulation, just what happened in that situation? Yeah, they said that the foul occurred at triple zero on the clock. This is true. We don't obviously hear anything. So, I'm going to start with, right, that's obviously a very tough moment there. You think you're going to mm -hmm. get three free throws. Just the grit of this team to go into overtime and say, oh, whatever, it's, we're going to keep fighting. And this team, yeah. you know, every, this season has fought in so many close games to finally get that win. Yes. Right? Just how much good does that feel, especially see senior and anything can happen, but have a win like this. Yeah, I mean, there were many opportunities for us to fold and say, oh, it's too hard. And we showed our growth. We showed our um, maturity in, in how we handled this game. They're really, really good. Uh, and that moment right there where we thought we were going to have it locked up, um, I, you know, if Jada gets three free throws, I'm confident she's going to make at least one with point something on the clock. And when that was kind of taken away to still be able to say, okay, doesn't matter. We still beat you. Um, I think that shows a really, really gritty team. For both of you players, I mean, Leilani, you've been here a really long time, right? Just your career has been very long. Just to win a game like this and just to see the growth of this team, right? You have been so close so many times this season. What does it mean for both of you, you know, maybe the last time you stepped on this kid? Um, I just say I'm proud. I think there's a lot of times, like, we've been, like I was telling the team, we've been through the ringer. Um, and we've stuck with it. And I think there's plenty of times where we could just fold and been like, yeah, let's just get blown out every week. And um, but I think we're we're taking things seriously and we're coming together. And I'm just proud of this team, proud of the effort. Yeah, um, I mean, we haven't had a, a great senior night ever since we've been here. We, we yeah. senior night is one of the most important days because you want to honor honor the people that have put in so much time and effort. And it hurts not to like give them the win and give them the good game. And for for my own senior night to be a night like this, with a crowd like this, um, it's it's just a night to remember. I mean, that's all that matters. Charmin, you guys have had this close game with great teams all year. Like, how rewarding is it to finally pull one out? And what was different about this one? I mean, it's, it's everything. Um, it's so frustrating to be close, you know? And uh, we've done a really good job of continuing to show up and fight and give everything that we have. And so I'm happy for them that they got to jump up and down on the court and hear the crowd celebrate them. And um, it, it just means everything. And the difference, uh, I, I don't, I, I think we've had fight and, and you know, the grit in, in all of the other games. I think we were um, just locked in and, and we had some people step up and, and, and make the plays that we needed, right? Like locking up Soko, um, you know, taking care of the ball down the stretch, making free throws. Um, we, we did the right thing when we needed to, and, and it paid off. Did you learn things from the Stanford loss or Colorado or Notre Dame or those games where you were so close? Um, yes. I think we've learned things, and I also think it's been a slow growth. <laughs> like I wish we could have kind of – you know, figured it out a little bit sooner. Um, but but we've been learning and growing, and, and I think you can see that today. For the players, like a lot of you had three, four fouls at the end there. What kind of is that fine line of wanting to be aggressive, especially against a team like USC and also staying out of trouble there? Um, I mean, I, I find myself in foul trouble a little bit too much. Um, so I was happy that I stayed out of foul trouble in the beginning of the game. So I knew I was able to to be more aggressive on the boards towards the end. Um, I think I had a foul flying with somebody trying to get, get a rebound. Usually that's a bad foul on me. Right now I was like, well, you know, it means I'm, I'm on top of my stuff and I'm being aggressive. So for me, in that sense, it was it was a good day. Um, I like to be able to be a little bit aggressive down the stretch. We had, um, you know, KO and Jada and um, Michelle both with four fouls and fourth, um, Jada even much of the third. And what I said to them during that last stretch was, don't give anybody anything. You have to play hard. And if you foul out, we got somebody else that can do can do it. But, um, you know, we weren't going to allow them to have baskets in order to keep someone in the game just because every point mattered, obviously.
John, we can talk yes. about uh, Michelle's excellent overtime. Uh, it, was just, it was like incredible to watch. Yeah, um, you know, she's, um, Michelle is just an amazing human being, you know, and I am so hard on her. And we had a conversation this morning in which she just, you know, reassured me that like, she's got my back. She's been here the whole time, you know, and, and she's just continued to try, you know, and uh, I told her how important this day was and kind of like how I was feeling. And she said, I got you. And, um, you know, just to have her locked in um, when she, Michelle is locked in on doing the right thing, um, she makes game winning plays. And I think she did that today. And, uh, Amy, um, that fourth quarter, I felt like you had to get the two blocks and the offensive foul call, um, uh, charge. Um, what was sort of going through your mind in that fourth quarter? It was like, very tight. Oof. Um, I mean, honestly, I was enjoying every second. I wasn't even nervous. I wasn't even stressed. I'm just, you hear the crowd, you feel the game. I, I've talked to Sherman about that before, too. Like, if I feel the game and I'm just flowing, no, like nothing matters. Like I, I wasn't thinking anything. I was just, I knew what I was supposed to do. It all comes natural and then good things happen. So um, yeah, kind of as, as she said about Michelle too, if if we are locked in, things just come. Matt, do you guys, can, it's our senior day and these guys, like every, the fans are waiting. Yeah. Can we have one more? Okay. And it's actually about that for these two. Just this, you have three more games left. And I know talking to some people, you both have eligibility. Have either of you made your decision on if you're going to come back or if you're Gonna wait really, until... you're gonna you're gonna use that as the last question. We have not. <laughs> we have not. Thank you. We're talking about it. 